Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. And here we have the Jaguar F-Type uh, on a 64 plate, as you can see. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car first of all, and then we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls on the inside of it from there. Uh, we're going to start off inside the boot area of the vehicle, first of all. As we approach the back of the vehicle, you can see we have those twin uh, centrally exiting tailpipes. We've got reversing sensors and given the nature of the vehicle, plenty of boot space available here as well. OK, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then, as I said, we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. But now that we've done a full circle of it, firstly, you can see the alloy wheels are all in pristine condition as is the bodywork the entire way around, especially given the vehicle's age as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Over on the right-hand side, first of all, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the left-hand side. In the center, you can see uh, the digital readout for the speedometer, next to which it will show you what uh, gear this car is in it's an automatic so we of course are in park we have the fuel gauge and cooling temperature gauges there as well uh, if we back out to the steering wheel next we've got uh, phone controls stereo controls cruise control over on this side as well and the minus and plus paddle so that you can change up and down a gear manually with this automatic gearbox over into the center next we have the main touch screen so you can see there we have our audio navigation and phone menus just tap whichever one you want to access uh, and first of all it will show you what we're doing at the moment so you listen to music uh, via the cd player but you can change that to any of the things you see up here usb input ipod input bluetooth audio uh, auxiliary input as well so loads of ways to listen to your music you can of course access the radio as well am fm and dab as you can see we can come back out to the home screen where you can access your satellite navigation Really nice clear colour display. It's a very easy system uh, to use ultimately. We can come back to the home screen incidentally by hitting this button anytime you want to. You pair your phone at the bottom just there and if I pop the vehicle into reverse you'll see the full colour reversing camera as well. Below that we have our dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed from there. To turn the air conditioning off and then back on again, use that button, or you can hit auto. The car will now take complete control to maintain those temperatures for you. You can manually override that whenever you wish to. You can see auto has now gone off. If you push that in, we have control over our heated seats, three different heat settings for the driver's seat, and the same over here for the passenger seat as well. Uh, you have a 12 volt charging socket, the start and stop button for the engine. You just need to make sure the key is in the vehicle with you. We have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, the volume for the stereo. This button changes the driving setup of the car. So for ice and snow, rain, and for track, just bring that back down this direction. We have an electronic handbrake. We can put the car in eco mode. You can raise and lower the spoiler. You can make the exhaust louder and quieter from here. And you can turn your traction control on and off as well. The last thing I wanted to mention and something you don't find often in an F-Type is this panoramic roof. So manual sun blind, as you can see, fixed section of glass but it lets in a huge amount of extra light to this cabin area the last thing i wanted to talk about is the paperwork we have for the car uh, so firstly you can see the v5 registration document there on the right hand side on the left hand side we have a uh, online service history printout from jaguar uh, and you can see services uh, for 2014 16 17 18 19 21 22 and 23 as well so loads of service history and a lot of that is backed up with documents inside here as well all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see this fantastic car for yourself and have a test drive or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the vehicle please feel free to give us a call here at wimbledon carriage company we'd love to hear from you soon